subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get the latest notification related to Salesforce. Hello friends, in this session we will be learning what is on-premises, advantages of cloud computing and the difference between on-premises and cloud computing. So let's begin. Hey Cloudy, I would like to know why companies actually moved from on-premises to the cloud. Your wish is my command in me. Let's deep dive into on-premises and cloud computing. So here I will be drawing images to explain you how exactly on-premises works. So here you get the idea and once you have the idea with you, you start building your app. First thing you need to take care about is your hardware. You have to worry about the cost associated to it and maintenance of it. Next is your installation of software. You have to worry about which software you need cost associated to it. Security plays a very important role in keeping your data secure. And finally, after all these steps, you are able to build your app. So you see the number of steps involved from the idea to finally building the app. So the cost, of course the cost is more because you have to install hardware, software, security, networking. You have to take care of so many things. Regarding time, yes, it takes a lot of time. So basically all the focus is on the low level infrastructure. Basically the low level hardware resources, the low level software resources and less focus is on actual application itself. So that's the point where you don't get the competitive advantage. You cannot differentiate your application with the competitors. It's difficult because all your efforts are going there. So you are not able to do that. Now comes the cloud computing. So here it's pretty simple. You are able to get the idea. Once the idea is ready with you, you have all the tools given by the cloud computing companies to make your application ready. So that's easy it is. Simply you have the tools and you are able to build your awesome app. So you see the number of steps involved here from idea to finally building app. So of course the cost is less. It depends on the resources you use. And the time, it takes less time because all the tools are available with you. So you are able to get the competitive advantage. That's what you need to remember. That's what you get when you are talking about the cloud computing. So basically most users do not worry about the architecture underneath. They just focus on the end result that is your application. So cloud computing gives you that. Now comes the advantages of cloud computing. The first is pay per use. So the time and money is less because you are just paying for the resources you are using. You don't have to worry about anything else which you are not using. Regarding security, even the best systems in the world need to get updated regularly. So in cloud computing, security is being taken care by the giants like Salesforce, AWS, Google Cloud, and you don't have to worry. It's scalability. So if the traffic is less, then you scale down. If the traffic is more, you scale up. 
that's easy it is to scale up and down just by some clicks flexibility so if you need extra bandwidth a cloud based service can meet the demand instantly rather than going through the complex expensive update to your it infrastructure and then comes the maintenance so you don't need to hire the networking engineers software engineers your hardware engineers to maintain the infrastructure you don't have to worry about it that is being taken care by the cloud companies itself the story time paper use so this is the best part the start listing the story so simi wants to go from new york to new jersey now she is thinking about what options she has with her the first consideration is let's purchase a car now when she purchases a car she has to think about what are the cost involved with it what are the factors there first is the upfront cost she has to pay a lot of money to get the car insurance she has to have the car insurance maintenance of the car she has to take care of maintaining the car so you see the number of steps involved here the cost involved here the factor she has to consider now even if she just wants to go 5 miles again it doesn't matter she has to pay for the complete car she can't just say that i just want to go for 5 miles so give me car for lesser price this is the price which she needs to give for the car whether she is going from new york to new jersey or 5 miles or even for a longer ride so in that's happens in traditional infrastructure that you're not paying for use you're paying for the complete resource up front so again she think through and comes with another option she thinks why not take a taxi from new york to new jersey now regarding upfront cost she doesn't have to pay she just needs to pay for the trip that's all from source to destination whatever is the cost regarding insurance she doesn't have to worry it is for the owner of the car not her responsibility regarding maintenance of the car she doesn't have to take care of it so you see she doesn't have to worry about lot many things now if she is thinking to just go 5 miles away from her home she will be paying less if she is going for a longer ride she is paying more so depending on resources she is paying and that's what cloud computing offers for you next is infrastructure maintenance so need for software maintenance team networking engineers database engineers is drastically reduced and that's what cloud computing offers so story time is scalability so suppose you are greeting company like archies and you want to sell your e cards online you have your servers users are opening your application to send e cards to your to their loved ones and everything is going good now comes the christmas time lot of people are interested in sending the e cards to their family friends so lot of people are taking going to your website now what happens here is there will be a load on your server because of the number of users have increased so your application can start working slowly or even worse you might have your server crashed and that won't be good for your business so in traditional infrastructure getting server so quickly is hard you need to go through a lot of complex process regarding deciding which servers you need the time taken to maintain it the cost associated to it lot of factors are there but if you are having cloud computing companies with you 
behind you then just in few clicks you are able to install hundred of servers so basically if traffic goes up then you can scale up if traffic goes down then you can scale down so again if there is off season again you can so easily scale down that's easy it is when it comes to cloud computing scalability security is always an important consideration now when it comes to cloud companies like aws google cloud salesforce these giants take care of your security external threats internal threats data compliance data sovereignty all are being taken care of and you don't have to worry just focus on your awesome application so let's see differences between on premises and cloud computing so first is pay upfront so here renting of data centers buying servers pooling equipments backup generators all these things you have to pay upfront in cloud computing you pay for what you use so i gave you example of renting a car so you are just paying the rent of the car and not for the complete car itself you pay for just the resources you are using less scalability so here it's very hard to estimate that finally your application when it is out in the market users will like it or not so you cannot estimate in advance the number of servers needed in traditional infrastructure it's very hard to scale when it comes to cloud computing you can scale up or scale down pretty easily it's very easy just by few clicks huge space needed for server now when you are taking care of the servers you need huge spaces to keep your servers installed so you need that space for you but when it comes to cloud computing you don't need space for the servers it is taken care by the cloud computing companies then dedicated team to manage your hardware and software so you need professionals who can maintain it and that is something you have to look into but when it comes to cloud computing you don't require team to maintain your hardware and software it reduces drastically leading to less cost as well poor data security you need very good data security engineers to keep your data secure but when it comes to cloud computing security standards are pretty high because companies like salesforce they are know exactly how to handle the data security lack of flexibility so limitation of physical capacity like floor space cooling space so you need to add 100 machines then you need a bigger space so you have to worry about lot many things but when it comes to cloud computing there is lot more flexibility there are no automatic updates in on premises but when it comes to cloud computing automatic updates are there take longer implementation time so because you get the idea then you have to think about the hardware software networking security so obviously the time takes is more but when it comes to cloud computing it's rapid implementation yes it's rapid it's pretty quick because you get the idea and then you start building your app and it is out in the market that's easy it is and your customers are pretty happy with your app because it's so quickly released and you get the competitive advantage so these are the differences between on premises and cloud computing 
In the comment section, please let me know what advantage you like the most about cloud computing. Also, comment below what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. If you like the video, then please don't forget to subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get the latest notification. Thank you.